So outside of hiring me as your business coach, there's one other professional that I highly recommend that you have in your back pocket when you're launching your virtual assistant business, and that is your accountant. So as your virtual biz bestie, I got your back. Here are the questions that you need to ask your accountant in that first consult consult. So the first thing I want to say is 1000% invest in this conversation. So invest in this conversation, whether it's free and you're investing your time or it's paid and you have to pay for it, it's worth its weight in gold. So based on your goals, you want to find out what entity you should establish your business as in your state. So if you're doing this part time or you're doing it full time, the conversation is going to be basically LLC, S Corp, those kind of questions. The next thing is you want to make sure that you know how to prepare for tax season and when you should pay those estimated tax payments. That's something that you're responsible for as a business owner. Next up, you want to find out how you should manage your expenses throughout the year. Some accountants require that you use QuickBooks, right? So if you're setting up a bookkeeping system and it's not going to vibe with how they're when it's time for them to do taxes. The next thing is, will they do your taxes if they do not do your monthly bookkeeping? Some accountants, some CPAs will not touch your taxes if they haven't been in your business all year. So that's definitely a conversation to be had. The next thing is you want to find out are they available to you throughout the year and how often can you contact them with questions and if there's any charge associated with that so that you can be prepared. The worst thing to be is what in business is to feel alone. You also want to know if they provide updates to their clients on programs that could be beneficial to you throughout the year. Um, My accountant is amazing. He lets me know, you know, whenever anything changes in the state, that could be beneficial to me and my business. And I know that'll be invaluable to you as well. The other thing is ask them what tax saving opportunities that you should be looking out for throughout the year. Um, Because we all know it's not just about how much money you make, but also about how much money you keep. Also, you want to find out if there are any special considerations for your specific industry in your state that you should be aware of. Are there special regulations for home-based businesses? Those type of things. You definitely want to have that conversation and find out exactly what you need to know. I hope this was helpful. Be sure to like, click, and follow here. And also check me out at RomaineBrownPalmer.com.